Hello everyone, friends. Interesting facts about the Jag Terrier. From German, the name of the breed translates as hunting terrier. The main qualification of Jags is burrowing hunting for fox, raccoon and badger, but with proper training, the breed is able to work with a downed bird and even hunt wild boar. The German Jag Terrier has a high pain threshold, so in fights the dog is not able to adequately assess the situation and continues to fight, even after receiving serious injuries. The strong-willed and independent nature of the Jag Terriers turns them into not the most manageable pets that need long walks, regular training and hunting trips. Despite the fact that the breed is successfully bred in Russia, among experts, representatives of German and Austrian breeding lines are considered a more valuable acquisition. German Jag Terriers can be involved in watchdog activities, but such work will not be able to fully satisfy the hunting instincts of the pet. Because of their recklessness and excitement, German Jag Terriers die hunting more often than representatives of other breeds. In part, the kamikaze effect is to blame for the innate insensitivity to pain, as well as for the overly active behavior of Jags in burrows, contributing to the collapse of earth tunnels. Due to the innate tendency to leadership, the breed is not recommended for keeping owners who do not have experience working with hunting dogs. The German Jag Terrier is the best friend of lovers of burrowing hunting and lovers of showing off fluffy feather trophies. Enthusiastic, tireless, persistent, this reactive pursuer is always focused on the result, which he often achieves at the cost of his life and health. You can control the behavior of a Jag Terrier if you convince him of his own authority, the breed does not like affection and tenderness and values only leadership qualities. On the other hand, Jag Terriers are convinced of monogamy. If the dog found you worthy of trust, then it's forever. The breed was formed at the beginning of the 20th century, when dog breeders fed up with show terriers, began to dream of working pets, capable of bringing real benefits. By that time, European exhibitions were filled with representatives of the group with an exemplary exterior but absolutely unsuitable for working on the beast due to muted instincts. After the First World War, German specialists began breeding a new purely hunting variety of terrier, ideally working in a hole. The first in this business was a dog breeder and part-time passionate fan of fox terriers, Walter Zangenberg, who was later joined by Rudolf Reis and Karl Eric Grunwald. The breeder began his experiments by taking four fox terrier puppies from Lutz Heck, director of the Munich Zoo. Zangenberg was not confused by the fact that the kids had an evil black and tan color, since the breeder was going to develop hunting instincts in animals and not a glamorous appearance. As a result, the grown-up puppies were associated with black foxes, known for their phenomenal viciousness and relentless pursuit of the victim. In 1926, the first Jag Terriers club was opened in Germany, and 12 months later, the wards of Zangenberg began to exhibit at the exhibition. At first, the breed was bred by inbreeding, closely related crossing, which did not have the best effect on the health of the offspring. And it was only in the 20s that dog breeders began to attract more distant relatives, Welsh Terriers and Old English Terriers to pumping Jags. After the Second World War, the breeding of the breed was no longer so active, which was facilitated by the division of Germany into occupation zones. In addition, the breeders of the GDR relied on the selection studies of Zangenberg, that is, they continued to cross the jagged relatives among themselves. As a result, the number of dogs quickly recovered, but the number of defective individuals began to grow exponentially. The Jag Terriers received international recognition in 1954, together with the receipt of the FCI standard. After this event, dogs began to be exported to North and South America, but the hunters of the New World were not impressed by the small and agile Jags. German Terriers were brought to the USSR in the 70s, although unofficial sources claim that the first acquaintance of domestic breeders with the breed took place 40 years earlier. 
of the manufacturers imported into the Soviet Union, Cherry von Rieschbach, Dina von Galitzi and Enki von Wolsiger C are especially worth noting. It was these people who laid the foundation for the first generations of Russian Jagdariers. And that's all, friends, there are many more interesting things in the following videos. Thank you for your attention, subscribe to the channel so as not to miss a lot of interesting things.